let us start executing some AQL commands starting from the basic into the more uh, complex ones. So either from the network flows I can do select and I like to select the look ahead asterisk from and I put flows here and I get all the columns from the events in the last five minutes because I did not specify any uh, uh, time criteria. Same thing I can do from the actual events and I get uh, the same result. Let's make, let's say that now we want a few more columns in here, uh, a few less columns. I want to specify the columns I want. Say I, I want only the start time, source IP, destination IP from events, and I get start time. That's not very readable. We're going to modify that. That's epoch time and source IP and destination IP. So let's make this search a little bit more uh, extensive by adding these two columns. QID, but I want the QID name, not the QID, not the number, but the, the description of it. As you see here, it's a health metric information. So I want Again, not the actual ID itself, but the actual description. If I were to put here just QID without the function called QID name, what I will be getting instead of that, that name will be, let me scroll down, I should have the QID here, that number. And that doesn't tell me much. I want to actual, the actual uh, description of it. So I return to the event list. And that's why we put that function ID. Another example is category name, and we put in it the name of uh, the, the actual category. So we get uh, that information as well. So notice that if we leave the category alone, we get that number, which doesn't tell me much. So we use the function name to get the actual translation. And notice that we are renaming that column with the as word, and then we put Everything that you put in AQL that has spaces, you need to put it in double quote. If the whatever parameter doesn't have spaces, you can put it into single quotes. So let's use another function to translate this uh, time, epoch time, into something humanly readable. Again, we, we put the start time, pass it into the date format function, specifying that this is the format that we want the actual time, and this is definitely more humanly readable. But I don't like that that title. Let me actually change that. Well, I guess that you know now how easy that is. I just add the as date and bingo. All the SQL commands that we will be issuing in this series, in this series of videos are going to be in the box account and the link is going to be put in the description of the videos. You can go on there and, and grab them. You don't have to uh, copy that from the from the video. Let's show an example of using the word close. Let's say that I'm, on all the events, I want to see all the events where the username is Lance Springswell. And here we have them. But let's say that we want to refine that search and I don't want all, not just all the events from Lance Springwell, but I want to know when the domain name he went by virtue of one of the Q&I properties. Domain name is this particular server and I specify the time uh, period in here for the last two hours and we get that particular event in there. Notice that the domain name custom property is precisely the Q&I extraction of that uh, uh, domain name where the actual the actual guy uh, went. Let me correct myself. That actually was not gotten from the QNI. This particular was gotten from the uh, uh, Blue Code proxy. Here is an example of the group by in which we are looking for three columns: a username, unique count of source IP. That's a function to say out of the old source IP count only the ones that uh, the, the one that are unique so and same thing with the destination IP from events and group by username and this is what you get by username they are group and they are the unique source IP and destination IP on my small demo system 
show another example with the order by, which is for sorting in descending order, and the limit. I only want the the first 10 findings on it on the last three hours, and that's the result you get. Let's close this uh, this video by using the having clause. So this has, is, is, is used in conjunction with the group by. So in the previous example that we have, username, unique counts or destination IP and source IP from events, group by username, having magnitude greater than two. So that's going to limit the number of results that we have and only put those whose magnitude is uh, greater than two.